I have a VCR that was giving me a bit of grief the other day. I uh, wanted to watch a, a movie and uh, that I had on VHS tape and uh, unfortunately it didn't play so I, I thought I'd have a go at uh, repairing the VCR. It's a Sony. Uh, it's an SLV 595 HF. Fairly decent uh, uh, deck. Purchased back I've had it since new, uh, since 1993. Uh, bought it uh, locally at Steve's TV for 525 bucks back then. So, and it's worked pretty good just up until recently. Um, so, uh, I've already taken the lid off this thing, and uh, it has a cup had. I've repaired it actually already. It had a couple of problems that are fairly common to, for Sony decks. And I just thought I would uh, uh, put a little video together, maybe to try to save uh, some time for somebody. I, I spent quite a bit of time on it because uh, um, I, uh, trying to get it all aligned up again and everything was uh, a bit time consuming. Uh, so, the first problem I noticed when the, I went to load the tape was that it didn't load, right? And uh, so there's a little lever here that captures the tape and will drag it behind the pinch roller and the pinch roller comes down. And this thing was uh, frozen in about, oh, maybe that position there, uh, back uh, behind the uh, pinch roller. And uh, it was pretty seized up. So in order to free that up, you have to uh, really take it off. And thats uh, it's not very difficult to do. Uh, you use a, a nut driver, uh, four and a half millimeter is uh, the size. And uh, it just un you just unscrew the nut and take that off. I think we've unscrewed it enough. It should come off now. The nut comes off. There's a little washer there that we'll just snag. And yeah, and, and so if you look very closely here. It has to actually be uh, moved up this way all the way, and then uh, it will. You'll see that it'll clear the uh, plastic retainer, and it should just come off. And it will pop up like that, and off she off she comes. So to clean that, um, take it out here first. The spring will stay attached to it. Uh, to clean this part, I um, I just took a little bit of alcohol and uh, uh, soaked a paper towel and ran it through the hole, cleaned it out, and uh, cleaned up the shaft that it rides on here. And uh, uh, some people would oil that, I know. Um, for me, I just find that oil collects gunge over time. This thing isn't going to get a lot of heavy usage, so I, I just uh, wanted to keep it as clean as possible so that it doesn't collect uh, crap over time and seize up again. So I'm just going to uh, put that back on. Okay, I guess um, one thing to pay attention to is where that spring is located. Uh, the spring comes around, if I can find it here, my tweezers, I'll just point to it. It goes uh, underneath this plastic clip right here. It goes behind that so that it has lots of uh, spring, spring tension. And I'll just tighten up the nut, which I had taken off. Snug that up. Now, 
nice and free. Okay, I'm just going to load a tape in here and I'll show you the, the way the uh, guide pad for the tape works. Uh, the tape actually does load properly now. So the tape, now that it's loaded, I should do that again maybe so you can see it. I didn't have the camera really positioned very well for that. So the tape actually goes uh, up this side here in between the pinch roller and the pinch roller here in the capstan through this guide here uh, past the assuming that must be that's the take up side right so that would probably be the audio head I guess around the uh, guide here comes around the drum has to go around the drum completely and up over this guide here right and then back out I am assuming this is the record head here and back onto the uh, supply reel on this side so that's essentially how that works and the problem that I had with this deck besides that other uh, loading lever uh, by the capstan being totally seized up was let's move my light over to this side a little bit um, this part here this little uh, uh, take up or guide post didn't move at all like it uh, was just stationary and from <clears throat> other posts on the internet uh, I guess this is another common problem there's a gear underneath that uh, drives that and uh, can break and fortunately for me this has worked I glued mine um, I took it all apart and glued the gear I used a uh, crazy glue cyanoacrylate adhesive um, if I can just show you that it's pretty I think it's just uh, pretty well regular crazy glue although this is the colored stuff it's kind of a purple color and I guess it turns uh, um, clear when it when it dries so I glued the gear with this and let it set for uh, a couple of hours and then I put it back together and that seemed to uh, seem to be okay. So we'll go into that side of the VCR and uh, have a look at that. Okay, so the gear that was broken was this blue gear here, and I see that it's uh, on a, in a lot of cases, or in a, at least a couple that I've seen, it seems to be the culprit. There's a spring inside, and I think the gear is under tension, and maybe just over time, uh, the stress on the plastic causes it to go. So in order to get at this uh, gear and underneath here, this board has to come out, and uh, I'll do that uh, now and I'll show you how that comes out. Uh, not very difficult. Uh, this belt has to come off. Uh, there's five screws. One, two, three, four, five, actually six. And the silvery 
or sorry, uh, uh, gold screw holds down uh, this part here. There's a couple of connectors on the board, so when you put the board back in, you have to be careful. There's actually a connector under here and a connector under here, but they, it does go together uh, pretty good. Now, in order to uh, take the board off, there are a couple of cables on the board, and I'm going to unplug those from the other side. Here, this one's plugged into this board here, so we'll just tug that out, and this connector here comes off of the uh, motor uh, that drives the cassette mechanism, and that should be all I need to do on that side for now. And there we have it. This belt I'll remove. I just kind of roll it off so the board can come out. And the board should be unscrewed. But all the screws come out. And as I said, there are five of them. And that one got lost. Thankfully, my screwdriver is a little bit magnetized, so helps for fishing stuff out. Back when I bought this VCR I really wasn't overly enthused with VHS but uh, I couldn't find any more beta movies so I was kind of forced to, uh, to make the plunge. I have to pay attention to the screws I'm taking out here. Yeah, that's it. So, just again, one, two, uh, three, four. There's four. This screw stays. And there's a little plastic clip here holding the board that I'll just move back to pop the board up. And it should just come out. And because I've removed the connectors on the other side, it should be fairly easy to extract, although it's kind of a nuisance getting it in and out the way the cables run. Okay, so that board just comes out like that. There's the connectors I was talking about are here and here, and that they plug into that connector and that connector there. So now I have it apart, and in order to get this gear out, um, I don't know if you can see that fairly well. Maybe I can go in a little tighter on this area. In order to get the gear out, um, this plate has to come off, this gear has to come out, this gear has to come off, and then that gear can come out. Now one thing before I, I take this apart, uh, it's kind of interesting to note if we can, I don't know if I can get in close enough to see this or not. But you will see that there are arrows on these gears where they're supposed to be aligned. There's an arrow right here and it faces that arrow there. So that is the alignment marks for those two gears. Um, that's good because uh, that helps you line those two up. And where I made my mistake is taking this gear off here I should have marked it um, because it took me quite a while to figure out how to get that gear uh, back in perfect alignment. And uh, I'm going to mark it this time because this thing's working now and I don't want to screw it up. But I think I know uh, how to line it up even if I didn't mark it now. So I'll just go ahead and uh, 
pop those parts out. So what I like to do here is I just have a, a small screwdriver and I'll just kind of pop these things up so they're half off. These three units here, they're like a little sea washer sort of thing. And then I'll pick them off very carefully because I don't want to lose these. I have no idea where you would get them. Didn't quite come up all the way. being overly cautious that I don't lose them. That's that. So this part then comes off, this little retainer. You can always uh, make sure you lie it down so you know how it goes back on. And uh, so this part now, this gear here, there are three little uh, alignment, or three little uh, cams that it operates, and they're basically centered right now in the slots. These, uh, and I think they're just little uh, visual indicators of where they should be. But I am, I'm going to also mark it uh, with this. And it's pretty obvious, I guess, but I'm going to mark it here. Well, I guess if I just have this line up with that hole, uh, right there, you can't see from my hand, I guess, right? Where I'm talking is uh, right in here. It's important that this gear and this gear are in proper alignment. And I didn't have them lined up uh, correctly before, so that hole should be right there. I'll remember that. Okay, so that that's good, and you can see how uh, that lines up. It, it will save a lot of time because I couldn't get this gear exactly lined up properly when I put it back together. So uh, that's that part. So let's uh, take that apart. This gear comes off here. Like so. It's got uh, various uh, uh, spots there for those little uh, cams to ride in. Then we want it, we need to get down to this blue gear, right? So uh, this part here, I was I believe able to disengage from the blue gear, slide the take up mechanism to the front and then lift it off very carefully and out of the way. I'm going to do basically the same thing here. We're going to uh, just pop the um, retainer. Don't lose it. And then you can put it back afterwards. And it's slightly different, but it works. No, it's the same actually as the other ones. So now we can take the gear off. Well, actually, we can't. I think we got to take this off. It's held on here. I'm trying to see if that's visible to you guys. Almost. Right here. So that comes off. It's not as easy as the other ones to get off. It's sort of like a split thing. Smaller screwdriver.
So now we should be able to remove that gear and off it comes. Now, as I said before, I glued this and it was split right in half. You can see where it was, you can see kind of now where I've glued it here. And it, you know what, it seems to be holding. So I'm hopeful that I don't have to order another one, but if I do, um, I do know how to replace it now. So um, that's not gonna be such a big travesty. Okay. There, it's off. <clears throat> so the spring just goes in side. It's a little bit of a struggle to get it back on again in the right way. Uh, the one wire goes under this opening here, on that side, and the other wire, you end of the spring, you saw. Um, and I don't think it matters which way the spring goes. I think it's uh, let, let me take the spring out. Okay, I'm going to show you how that uh, spring goes in. So, the gear, if you hold the gear like this, and put the spring with the, like so, then that arm of the spring right here should go underneath this little metal uh, arm, leg, whatever. And once you get it over, it should just pop into place. Anyway, that's how it goes. I'm going to see if I can get it in to position. There. Okay. You guys saw it. That's how, how she goes. And that's now back together. So now the uh, <clears throat> the deal is to um, you want to get these lined up and with the tape in the fully uh, extracted position, line up these gears. So we'll just do that. This one here has to go back over this shaft here, which it can be done. without breaking it, I'm assuming. There. And now we want these arrows to uh, line up. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now the reassembly part. Uh, these two gears are aligned properly. Uh, with the mechanism uh, fully ejected. Both of these are to the top and the arrows on the blue gear and this white gear align. And the blue gear can actually be snapped in place. What I'm doing to put these uh, small Uh, clips back on is using a nut driver, a small nut driver. So I put the ah, I hate these little things. I'll put that in place more or less where it goes. And the nut driver I'm using is a seven. Uh, God. 764ths, believe it or not. And I just put that over the top and pop her down, snap them in place. 
<clears throat> and I've used that for all of them. So now this other gear has to go back on, this gear here, and we want to make sure we line that all up correctly. And I will do that now. Um, so I scribed a little line on that, and that particular line should line up with that hole there. That's, I believe, how we had that. Doesn't look like it's going to line up, though. <clears throat> oh. They were, like, so... And the other, um, all the other little gears and whatnot, they should also l line up in the middle of these, these holes here. Right? So, this one doesn't appear to be anywhere near. Oh, it has to be up like that. And that looks pretty good. That looks about where we were originally. We'll do it like so. Hope for the best. You might have to move this little black slider a bit to get that to engage. And that looks just about where we were originally. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope it all works in the end when we fire it up. So now this little plate needs to go back on, which is here. Like so. <clears throat> and it has three uh, little retainers. One, two, three. Just pop those down with my nut driver. Oh. Actually, you're better to do one at a time because as you pop one down, the other ones will go flying. And I really don't want to lose those things. One. Two. Correctly aligned, all back together properly. The board can go back on. The board's a little finicky to get everything back in place. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tip this up in order to do that. So again, making sure the connectors line up and go into the sockets the way they're supposed to. Looks right. Put the screw. 
screws back in. Snap the board down under this little clip. Put the last screw in. Put the belt on, just roll it over the motor pulley. And I think we're done on that side. Flip, flip her back over. The ribbon cable here plugs back in. And let's do that. The uh, tape appears to be loading normally now. And I'll press play. And uh, yeah, that seems to be playing. And then got a pretty good picture on the screen. I hit the pause button. Get a pretty good pause. And we can do single frame. Slow motion, all that stuff seems to be working normally. So, I, uh, I hope this is uh, helpful for you guys. Um, the alignment of the gears was a bit of a nuisance for me, uh, getting them all back uh, together. And I guess the other important thing was um, there was a fellow, I think his name was Dave, he actually um, threw the machine out or didn't bother fixing it uh, because he needed a new gear. And uh, for me, um, just a bit of this stuff uh, seemed, to, seemed to work okay. I glued that gear back together and uh, yeah, 